Hey, Christopher, it's Laura. I have some questions for you. Um, I am looking at the ground plan, looking at upstage. This is our upstate, what I call the upstage proscenium where the rolling garage door is. All right, right here is where we're gonna have that really large sky drop with the clouds painted on it. Right here is where we're gonna have the ground row, which goes, which apexes at 10 feet, 10 inches. And um, right here is where we're gonna have the upstage uh, portal drop, all right? So the fourth electric is right here, where I sent you that picture the other day of the four sky sykes on it. It's right here. It's, it's basically butt up against the upstage side of the portal. And it's going to be shooting to hit the drop, which is on this pipe. It's like a partial old-fashioned cyclorama because it actually curves. It's like old cyclorama is actually curved all the way around, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's, that's a throw, which will totally... I believe it will totally cover the whole the whole thing because it's you know such a wonderfully long row. Uh, but here's where my my question comes in about the ground row. Is if this is your ground row with the highest point at ten feet, ten inches and a quarter, do you are you okay with the same light that's hitting the drop behind it upstage of it hitting the ground row as well? And if you want to put the Psych 40s upstage as well, the, the two cell Psych 40s, do you want to put them downstage of this ground row or do you want to put them upstage of the ground row? Because while I think they would beautifully light the ground row, they would also cast a weird shadow um, on the drop upstage of it. Also, I need to know the colors that you want to use on the electric the fourth electric sky sykes and if you could get that information to me that would be fabulous and i am attempting to work out also this drop i'm going to try to send you a picture of it, it does have it's a sky drop with clouds on it so do you still want to uh, do cloud gobos on a sky drop with clouds already painted on it just trying to figure out um and I'm going to try to figure out how to do the moon because it's now a drop and it's not a, it's not a psych. So I'm thinking maybe a front projection from, from a source four. Uh, and I, I made, I made the moon gobo for, um, for singing in the rain, but I think, you know, I think you want a different moon, which is, which is fine. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to do projections from upstage of the portal because the third electric is going to have maybe just a little bit of trouble um, because the third electric is downstage of, the, of this portal right here, this big portal, which is 15 feet 6 inches at its apex, which is, I, I, I measured it today, which is significantly lower than the actual than the actual um, ceiling of what I call the second proscenium and so it would be you'd have to fly the third electric way in in order to shoot up underneath this portal so I think any projections you do are probably going to have to come from much lower a lower a lower hang position downstage of this upstage uh, portal drop or they're going to have to be upstage totally with the fourth electric so you know upstage of this se the second portal on the fourth electric which is right around here so if you could just let me know that I uh, am trying to get things together to make all of that happen and if you could if you could just let me know specifically what you 
are thinking of doing, that would be helpful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.